Hi, I'm Sean Banks and welcome to another episode of Extension Gardener on the Crystal Coast. Today I want to talk about this tomato plant right here. As you can see, it got to be about seven feet tall and then all of a sudden it just started wilting and dying. There are a few things that could be causing this. Uh, the first one is a lack of water, but as you can see by everything else around it, there's plenty of water in the ground so we can rule that one out pretty quickly. There are five diseases or disease organisms that can cause this kind of a problem. The first one and the easiest one to check for is um, tomato spotted wilt virus. So if we look at these leaves right here, um, what we're looking for is we're looking for black spots all over the leaf. But the leaf doesn't have those black spots. So I'm pretty sure we can rule out tomato spotted wilt virus. All right, the next one that we want to check for, well, the next two are going to be verticillium and fusarium wilts. These are fungal pathogens that live in the soil, and what they do is they come up through the um, water conductive tissues in the, the base of the plant, and then they kind of just strangle it out, and what usually happens with that is you usually start to see the, the leaves turning yellow and wilting, and it works its way from the bottom up. Um, it kind of looks like that may have happened here, but we're not sure, so I'm gonna go ahead and check and see. But the only way to really check is to, to cut the base of the plant and open it up and take a look. All right. So what I've done here is I've cut the bottom of the plant, taken a look at this just to see what's going on. Um, and this is the part that's closest to the ground. Normally what I would see if I take a, a slice off of that right there is black in this area right here and that area right there. But what I'm seeing is more of a gray area right here. So that indicates to me that this is probably bacterial wilt, which usually gets in through the root system and then causes the entire plant to wilt all at one time. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put it in a, a glass jar with some water in it and I'm gonna see if I can um, see any bacterial streaming. And I'll show you what that is here in just a minute. But there's one more thing that I do wanna check for. All right, the other thing I wanna check for is root knot nematode. And the way to do that is to dig up the base of the plant and to look at the root system and see if there's, um, see if there are big nodules on the roots. All right, so digging up the root system of the plant. I don't see nodules on the roots. The roots are all pretty skinny. They actually look very healthy to me, so I'm pretty sure it's not root, not nematode. That's a good thing. All right. I don't know how well you can see it in that picture right there or in that video. Um, but right here, coming out of that glass jar, you can see a, a line coming down there. Um, that line coming down out of the, the root of that plant is actually the bacterial streaming. Let me see if I can get a better view from a different angle. I don't know how well you can see it coming out of there, but there is some bacterial ooze coming out of that root right there. So I'm pretty sure what I've got is bacterial bacterial wilt coming out of the, the base of that plant right there. Uh, just to close this out, um, what killed this plant is bacterial wilt which means that I can't plant another tomato here in this area for probably probably about another seven years. It's the first time I planted one here. If I had known that was gonna be the problem, I probably wouldn't have planted it there. Anyway, um, now I've got a problem with the, the bacterial wilt right here. I'll just have to keep the pretty flowers here and not worry about tomatoes. All right, till next time, happy gardening.